everyone, Heather here. Today we are going to be working on a little Valentine's art edit in Photoshop. So I'm probably going to be working on this little image um, and creating it to look a lot more like this one. So this is the original from that photo and I created this photo from that. And so now we're going to work on the one of them together and um, yeah, we'll have a lot of fun. So let's get into the Photoshop. And here's the image. So the first thing that I want to do is straighten out my image. So I'm going to go into my crop tool and I'm going to go up to the top here where it says straighten and I'm just going to use my straighten tool on the backdrop here at the bottom. And there we go. And I also want to change my ratio. I think I'm going to change it to um, 8 by 10. And probably right about there is good. Yeah, we'll do it right about there. Hit enter. And now we're just going to make a copy. So we're going to drag our backdrop to the little plus button. And I'm going to use, get my square marquee tool and I'm going to select part of the backdrop here. And I'm going to hit Shift F5. And that's going to bring up my fill. And I want to make sure that I have my content aware selected. And I'm going to hit normal and we'll say OK. All right. And again, I'm going to select the backdrop here. Maybe a little too close to the balloon. Let's try again. About right there. And we'll hit Shift F5 and Enter. Oh, perfect. Okay, and we'll hit Control D to deselect. Now what we'll want to do is just clean it up a little bit up here. So I'm going to get my patch tool and I'm just going to start selecting areas that I can tell needs to get cleaned up a little bit. And I'm going to go to the, their feet. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and double check that I got everything. Miss this line right here. I'm not going to get super nitpicky with this just because I am going to be adding a texture over top. <coughs> but I do still want it to be um, somewhat clean and smooth. So. and control D or um, command D if you're on a Mac to deselect. And that looks good there. All right, so um, the next thing I want to do is just kind of brighten up um, their faces a little bit. So I'm going to go into maybe brighten up my one daughter's face a bit. So. I'm going to go into a curves, just looking at her face here. I'm going to bring the midtones up a bit. And we'll invert this, so control I. And we'll bring up our brush, just a normal round brush. 
and just kind of brighten up her face a little. And maybe brighten up their legs down here a bit too. Good. Okay, so now I'm going to bring up my pixel squid and I want to bring in some little heart balloons. Um, so the first one I'll bring in this one here. And I liked it the way it kind of was this way because um, we want the light to be kind of shining on it. Kind of like that. And shadows off. High resolution. Okay, and we'll hit Control T to resize. and we'll hit enter there um, and obviously I need to add a curves layer to this and I'm going to right click and cr uh, create a clipping mask and I'm just going to bring the midtones way down and the highlights down I also want to maybe bring a little bit of that red out to darken it. Yeah, definitely bring some of the red out. Okay, so like that. Um, but I do want to add, I'm going to go down here to the adjustments and I'm going to add a hue saturation and I'm going to again right click and create a clipping mask and just take some of that saturation out of that red balloon, it's just like a little too bright. Maybe darken it up a, a bit more with that as well. There we go. I do want it to match the red in their um, dresses still, so I'm not going to take out too much. So that seems a lot better to me. Um, with this layer, I will need to put a mask on it and paint out some of the string here. So I'm just going to zoom in. I guess I better have a black brush to do that though. good there. So let's bring in the other balloon. This one. Okay, and 
control T. Just bring it over here. Okay. Again, we need to maybe just copy these two layers here. I'm going to drag it down and we'll actually bring it up above that and clip it to clip them to that balloon. Um maybe with this one we'll just bring oh, Sorry, we'll just bring up that curves a little bit um, with this one. Maybe right about there. Okay. All right, um, again, I need to add a layer mask onto that balloon and brush out that string. Okay. So this is looking pretty cute. So let's start doing um, some touch up on our girls here. Now that we've got the balloons in place, um, I'm just gonna make a new layer. So I'm gonna hit Shift, Control, Alt, E. And then I'll make a brand new layer over top. And I'm going to start cleaning up under her face. Maybe I'll just quickly sharpen up her eyes with the sharpen tool a little bit. Just lightly brush that over. and then we will kind of clean up under her eyes so I'm gonna try to use the clone tool this time for that so right now I've got the mode of the clone tool on lighten opacity at 11 and I have all um, layers sampled okay all layers and I'm just gonna make my brush a little smaller and we're gonna select under her cheek here and just lightly brush out some of this little dark spots. My brush needs to be a bit smaller here. Okay, so. See how that looks. Good. 
All right, so we're just going to kind of play around with the eyes a bit here. So I'm going to make a new layer. So I'm going to go up to layer, new, new layer, and we'll make it an overlay. And we're going to fill with 50% gray and hit OK. And with our white brush at 20% opacity, and I'm going to select lighten on the mode and we're just going to paint on the highlights in her eyes here Okay, and now with the black brush, um, this time we're going to put it to darken, and we're going to change this to about 10%. And we're just going to go over the black parts of her eyes. And her little eyelashes. Okay, and I will also go over her eyebrows. and also my other daughter's eyebrows and lashes. All right. So I'm just going to zoom out here. It's before and after on that one. All right, so I'm going to play around with our levels a little bit here. <coughs> So I'll bring up a levels and I'm going to make this um, the shadows 5.95 on the midtones and 245 on the highlights here. I'm just going to zoom in and see what that did here. Okay, I do like it. I'm just going to take it out of some of the shadow parts, like on her dress. So we'll bring up my, we'll put the brush to normal and 100%. And we'll just bring it out of some of her dress. I don't want the blue to start to look um, black. Same with some of the shadows on here. I like that. And let's do a curves here. Curves and just looking at their skin, I'm going to bring the midtones up a little bit. Now I'm going to flatten all this. Flat. 
often. And I'm going to run my frequency separation action. All right. Okay, so on the blur layer, once the action's played, um, I'm going to take my little lasso tool and I'm going to start selecting their skin, bits of their skin. And we want the feather to be at about 10%. And then we'll go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to do it a little higher than I normally do because I'm doing kind of more of an artistic um, edit. So I normally put it at like 7. Um, today I put it at 10 on this one. Let's select some more. And once you've already played the um, Gaussian Blur, then you can just hit Control Alt F or Command Alt F if you are on a Mac and it'll play the filter that you've just played. So control alt F and then I'll just keep doing that until I'm done selecting all their skin. Okay, and on the gray layer is where you want to use your um, patch tool. So if you see any spots or anything that you want taken out, then you can go ahead and do that on this layer. Um, I didn't do any on the other one, but I might on some of these little chin here. Maybe that scar on my daughter's nose just got a little scratch. All right. And if there's any fuzz or anything on the dress, this would be a good spot. You can take them out as well. All right. So I'll just show you the difference on that frequency separation on their skin. Just really softens it up. All right, so I'm going to flatten that and I'm going to copy my layer again and I'm going to go um, into liquify this time. So filter liquify. Okay, so I'm going to kind of bring out their hair a little bit. My, my little one who has curly hair, she's got <clears throat> fairly curly hair. It um, It's kind of straight and then turns into like these little ringlets at the bottom. It's super cute, but it, her hair gets so tangled up. She's got my hair. It gets really tangled and, and messy looking. Um, so I'm constantly trying to like fix it in Photoshop, <laughs> but I mean, she's adorable no matter what her hair looks like. <laughs> 
All right, and I'm going to fluff up her dress a bit. These dresses are from, I don't even know how to pronounce them, but they're called like Juni Petit Pop, I think, or something like that. Um, and they're just the most adorable dresses. They look sort of vintage, and I, I just love them. I bought these at Christmas. Oh, sorry. Something's going on here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I bought them for a Christmas shoot, and then we never got to use them, so um, my daughters were asking, you know, can we do some pictures? And I was like, yeah, let's do some Valentine's Day ones, and these ones are red and, you know, kind of holiday-ish, so that's why we, we pulled them out and did some pictures. We tried to do some outside, but it was so cold. It was like minus 20. So I was like, nope, let's get back in the house. It's too cold for this. <laughs> All right, so that looks really cute. Like that, and I'll just hit enter. So I just kind of fluffed out their dresses a little bit. Um, All right. So the next thing we'll do is... um. We'll do some dodging and burning, and I'm going to show you a different way to dodge and burn today. Normally, I use curves and just paint with curves, um, but I'm going to show you that you can actually use the paintbrush, like the black and white paintbrushes, to burn. Um, so again, we're just going to do that layer. So we're going to go, um, sorry, layer, new, layer, and then put it as an overlay and fill with gray. Okay, and I'm going to rename this Dodge and Burn. And you've seen me before in other tutorials using the actual Dodge and Burn tool on a layer like this, but today we're just we're going to use our brushes. So we're just going to use a normal brush, um, but we're going to use change the opacity down. So we're going to have the opacity at 11% and the flow around the same, around like 12-11%. And I'm going to start with the highlights. So I'm just going to go zoom in and start painting with white over all the highlights here. And again, you can just build up your highlights um, at this because the opacity is low. So if you run it over a highlight and you're not liking, uh, you just don't think it's enough, you just keep running your brush over it and it'll add more highlight in there. How cute is this one kissing her sister? I didn't even ask her to do it. She just did it on her own. It was just so cute.
All right, so there's the before, the before and after on those highlights I just did. So now we're just gonna switch to our, our black brush and go over any um, shadows we wanna do. I'm not gonna do any in her dress because I don't want her dress to get um, too much darker than it is, um, but I will kind of run it over some on this one and definitely over some shadows in their face. It's gonna really add to, um, oops, control Z. My, I accidentally moved that layer down. Okay, so I will go over, it's gonna add to that kind of painterly, cartoonish look if you go over the shadows in their face and really get into the details. Right, so there's the before and after on that. You can really see it in their legs. Um, see if I want to do any more in her eyes. I might just switch to the white and um, do a little bit more. her lip. All right. So I'm going to do another curves here. Do curves and I'm gonna bring the midtones up again just a little bit. Just looking at my subjects. Good. Okay, I'm going to invert this, control I. And with a large brush. Um, probably just bring the opacity up to about 50% and we'll bring the flow back up to 100 and I'm just going to brush that off my subjects in the center here
All right. All right, so now um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a black and white layer, black and white. And I'm gonna change this opacity of this layer to soft light. And I'm gonna bring the opacity down, but I'm gonna bring it back up and just see where I like it. Maybe around 30%. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paint it off um, certain parts that I don't want to get too dark, like in there, um, her dress here. I don't want it to starting to look black in certain spots. Um, so I'm just gonna paint it off her dress. Um, maybe in the shadows just under here. and in the shadows in this dress here that's getting a little too dark. Okay, and her hair here is starting to look black, so I'm just gonna go in and um, paint it just out of her hair in the shadows. See what my mask looks like here. My masking is always super messy. <laughs> you know, I didn't put my brush at 100%. That's probably why. So I'm just going to quickly do that again at 100%. see how that looks. That's so cute. Okay. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna do one more curves. And I'm just looking at my subject's face here. Um, I don't think she needs to get much brighter, but we'll bring it up a little bit more. I may end up turning the opacity down. I just want it to be super subtle. We're gonna invert it, control I, and I'm just gonna paint it at 100% just off my subjects here. Oh, sorry. Gotta change my brush to the right color. turn it down just a touch 75% yeah all right okay so I'm also I'm gonna do another curves um, but I'm actually gonna darken the background a little bit more. So I'm gonna bring the midtones down. And invert that, control I. Oh, sorry. Let's re-invert that. And I'm just gonna paint, paint it off my subjects with a black brush. So X to toggle between your brushes and paint it off my subjects.
bring that opacity down a little bit. Okay. All right, so I'm actually going to add a new layer here. I'm actually going to add three new layers. So I'm going to use my gradient tool here. Um, and I want it to be black to white. And I'm just going to bring that in. And we're going to put this to a overlay. I'm sorry. Maybe it was soft light. might have been multiply actually yeah okay sorry put it to multiply and on the second layer you'll do the same but to the side here this way I want it a little bit more on that side okay and multiply and then on the third layer you want it from the bottom up and put that one to multiply. Okay, and I'm gonna group all these. So I'm gonna select all of them, hit Control G, Control G. We'll call that layer vignette. And we'll just reduce the opacity on this one. So maybe 60%. And I'm going to put a mask on it, and at 100% in the center of my subjects, I'm going to um, paint it off my subjects in the center. And at a lower opacity, I'm going to make my brush bigger and brush it off them again here. And then at an even lower, opacity and my brush is bigger, we'll do that again. Okay. I'm just going to lower the opacity on that one a bit more as well. Okay, so then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open up one of my new um, textures that I've made. So I'm going to find my textures and bring it over. Just find the one that I used. I think it was this one. Okay, and we'll drop it over top. Oh. Okay, I just have to open it up because it's a it's a, a raw file. Okay, so this is one of my new textures, and I'm gonna go a layer, and we're gonna duplicate this layer on top of the Valentine's picture, and we're gonna change this one to soft light, and I believe I had it at about sixty percent on my other one. Okay, and we need to put a layer mask on it and paint it off their skin at 100%. Okay. Make my brush small. <laughs> and just at 100% paint it off their skin.
Okay, and I'm gonna change the opacity to 40. And we'll just zoom out here. Okay, and I'll make my brush bigger and I'll just paint that at 40% off them here. Okay, and then lower it to about um, like 15. A larger brush and we'll just go around them again. Kind of blending it in a bit. Okay. So I do like the kind of pinky tone. I just didn't want the texture on them. So I'm going to add a um, solid color layer and I'm going to choose kind of a light pink tone and I'm going to put this to soft light and just bring the opacity down quite a bit here maybe at 12 percent ten percent okay okay and then um, so I like the pink definitely but I do want to just double check that um, I'm gonna get my little dopper here I just want to double check that their skin tones are still okay with that pink on top so I'm just gonna check my CMYK here and yeah it's looking pretty good just a little bit more yellow You know, a little bit, there's a little bit more magenta in it, but it's not so bad. It's not like the magenta is overwhelming the yellow, so I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so I do want to just kind of brighten up those highlights a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to get my gray layer again. So I'll go layer, new, layer, and my gray layer, oh sorry, change it to overlay is what I'm trying to do, gray and okay. And I'm actually just gonna, I like to finish up the dodge and with a dodge and burn. So we'll zoom right in here and just go over all the highlights with the dodge tool.
Okay. So now um, what I want to do is I'm just going to take my blur tool and I'm just going to blur these balloons a little bit. Actually, sorry, I need to do that on a new layer. So I just made a new layer, Shift, Control, Alt, E, and I'm gonna blur this balloon a little bit with my blur brush. All right. Okay, so now I'm gonna um, copy this layer and I'm just gonna sharpen Actually, you know what? I'm going to flatten it because I think I'm kind of done. So we'll flatten. And I'm just going to play my sharpen action, my overall sharpen action. I'm going to put a layer mask on it. And I'm going to um, invert it, control I. And I'm just going to paint this sharpen over top of the girls. Oh, you know what? I need a white brush. <laughs> and why is it not working? I'm not on the right brush. Ugh. Okay, hopefully. It's all good. I was still on the blur brush. That's why it wasn't working. So now I'm on the paintbrush, 100% opacity, white brush. Let's see how it does here. <laughs> okay, good. Alright, so we have them sharpened, looks good, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another copy, so shift Control alt e and I'm going to go filter and camera raw filter, and let me just bring up my other screen here this one here okay so now you can see what I'm doing um, so what I want to do is I want to go to noise reduction and I want to just this so it used to be called luminance in camera raw but now it's noise reduction so in case you've used this before and you can't find luminance all of a sudden that's why, because now it is noise reduction. So I'm just going to bring it up to about like 45%, I think. Yep, and we'll hit OK on that. And I'm just going to zoom in. Um, let me go back to my other screen. There we go. And we'll just zoom in. 
so you can see what that does. Just kind of gives it a, like a bit of a painterly finish. And I'm going to put a mask on this and I'm just going to, with a small black brush, paint it off their features because I don't want I don't want their eyes to be not have detail so I'm just going to paint it off that and her little lips okay and one other thing I'm going to do before I finish this is we'll do solid color layer and I'm going to choose like a pinky color and we'll hit OK and I'm going to put this on to color and bring the opacity way down maybe 15 no less than that maybe at 10 invert it control I and I'm just gonna brush it over her little cheeks with a white brush. So on the highlighted side, we'll do that at 100%. We'll do this at, on her sister's cheek as well. Okay, and, and then on the shadowed side, we'll do it at 50%. Okay, and we'll also paint it on her lips at 50%. Okay, just kind of gives that little rosy cheek. Um, I'm going to turn the opacity down a little bit more, maybe at 8, yeah. Okay. Super cute. You know, I'm not loving that color. I might just kind of see, maybe I want it more in a red tone. Let's try it in a more like deeper tone here at 10. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. Now that I've done all that, we are going to go make another layer. Control, sorry, Shift, Control, Alt, E to do that. And we are going to go Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. And I'm, I usually only add noise at about 1 or 2%, but we'll leave it at 2%. And it just kind of gives it more of a, a finished look and helps blend in all the work you've done on your photos. So I like to do that on a lot of my fine art paintings and on my composites and stuff as well. All right. So this is a finished image. I'm going to flatten it and save it. And thanks for joining me for this little Valentine's hand art edit. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments just underneath the video and I will be able to get back to you. And I'm so glad you are here and part of this community. Please follow me at Getzlaff Photo and we can connect and thank you so much. Bye-bye.